Good morning to all of you. Um, this little tutorial is about a texture error that tends to show up in XPS once in a while. That error is yeah easy to fix, but it's quite nerve-wracking because it's showing up all the time and it's showing up on in all games I've known so far. And I thought I'll show you in a quick tutorial how to fix that thing up. From experience, we, I know from Tiffly that there is a model in the Terra files which having that error. I hope that it shows the same error now when I import and export it again, because otherwise this tutorial would be a little bit um, useless. But let's just hope for the best. First of all, I'm going to load the original model I have exported out of Blender once, because I need it at least once in XPS to create that error. I wish I would just remember where I got it. So, here we go. The most important thing is, and you can only hope that it happens to you, like, first I'm going to size down the model a bit, that I see a bit more, and root it around. Too much. As you can see now, the textures here are completely intact, there's no problem with them. No thing that anything would be wrong. So. Now we're going to save the model. I can rename the bones later, so there's no rush to do that now. Now, the most important thing in this case is try to leave, in such cases when you don't know what might happen, leave XNA open like this. You always have a, one version of your model you can always go back to in case something happens. I had it a few times that I closed XPS because I thought, oh, I don't need it anymore, and then that error showed up and I was like, ugh. Now import the model again. Because it might happen you want to change something else. In this case, I need to rework the armature later again because I have doubles of the head bones and I'd only need one setup. So, and now you see the good boy is really messed up. The textures are completely ripped apart while the UV in itself is still intact. As you can see, there are no changes to the UV. It's not as if the UV would be torn apart as well. It is intact. So, it's just completely messed up on the model. So now, how we do do we fix that? The solution to this is actually pretty easy. It's like dancing around the fire, but it works. First of all, as you can see, the shield. Does the shield look like this? Is obviously obviously fucked up as well. Sorry, I didn't plan to put it in these words, actually. So we need to do the same with the shield, but it looks as least, at least as if the sword survived the whole incident. Move the, th the sword to a different layer, because we won't need it. And now we're going to do a little bit of fixing. Since the shield is down as well, I'm going to take it back as an item and now I'm gonna export the scene as object and that was just my external hard drive now when you have the model exported as object load it on a separate layer. A 
but loaded as an op not as an XPS. Activate these settings and import the model. As you can see now, here the textures are completely intact. Now, put all the parts together that were ripped apart, at least the parts you need. Remove the doubles for a second. The shield is an op a single item already. Okay, and now the solution is actually pretty simple. Bone weight copy everything. The bone weight copy transfers, if possible, the bone weights from one model to another. The bone weights are needed that the body is moving in itself. The bones know what to do. They know to what they belong, how to move. But the bone weights tell the mesh, oh, you have to move with this and that bone. And the bone weight copy is transferring these weights one to one to another model. So let's do that now. Here we have our messed up camera. Hold shift, click on the second layer and select the, the other model that you have both selected the intact wave project and the messed up S key. Now go to object, scripts, bone weight copy, and copy all the brain weights to another. That might take a bit now, because for whatever reason, my laptop is powerful like hell, but not in this case. In this case, he likes to lag a bit. A bit lot or a bit much. It can only be a few hours until we have this done. I know patience is a virtue, but right now I don't have it. Just a bit more. Like I said, normally my laptop is a really powerful boy, can handle a lot, but this is something he definitely can't handle. It always takes ages until he get bone weight copies done and something. Especially the bone weight copies. For whatever reason, he is plain and simple slow with these. Thinking about the fact that I have to do the shield as well. Oh god. Oh, come on, hurry up a bit. Normally I'm flipping uh, windows in that moment and do something on the internet or XPS and something like this, but ah, thank you. Finally, you're through. Now, as you can see now down here, the former object has taken all the bone weights from the from the other one. Normally you can delete this now and move the other one to the other layer. But now we just have to do the same with the shield. Yep, since this is only one 
spoon, it'll be a bit faster. At least a bit. But I think you get the idea how this arrow can be fixed. Okay, same again. Remove the messed up shield. The other one forward. Move back eventual items you had on different layers because you didn't want them in the front. And now make another export. Preferably try to save the file on a separate mesh because you never know when things are getting messed up or something. Just showed me an arrow. Yeah, because he has more than one material, but I think I can survive that. Now what you have to do though, before you open the file in XPS again, you need to correct the render groups because an object is never taking the same names than an, than an ASCII file. And the problem is also that you are lacking some of the textures. As you can see, you only have two while you need four normally. So we just add them into it now. Normally you lack the light map and the, whoops, the light map and the speculars. So just add them in again and everything's through. That is probably the shield. Yes. Okay. I'll open the second XNA at the moment. Yeah, that's why the error is coming up. Because in case I something else is happening again. So I still have the old version from before somewhere. Oops. I stopped there at the group. <laughs> Beginner's error. Forgot to switch that to four. Oh, come on. Well, you can see now that our good boy is intact again. Shield as well, sword as well. And well, this is how you can fix this error up. Hopefully that it doesn't show up again because in, sometimes it tends to happen that the same error, you save the file in XPS and the same error is coming up again and again and again when you export the model back into Blender. That's normally the reason I'm doing a lot of stuff in the first export run that I have to, in case to fix something up, I have to do it only once. I will probably need to try that now, if that really is the case, but we can do that pretty fast because I have to rename the model anyway. So we just grab ourselves a really little, nifty little tool that was developed by Sarif which is one of the biggest or the best add-ons for XPS I've ever seen so far. Just grab ourselves our model. Grab ourselves the template with the bone names. Convert them. And now we have 
are renamed. Okay, now I closed the wrong one. Well, shit. Just a second. That is the other problem when you have two XNIs open that sometimes you don't know any anymore which was what. Okay. As you can see now, everything is so far alright. The only thing I am going to do now for a second is rename a few names additionally because I can cover that up in that case now as well. Then, because in this case there are sometimes bones you have to fix up first. But all in all, you I think you know what uh, how to correct the other error now. Strange. Looks as if this time everything worked out pretty fine. Now I can only hope that the error isn't showing up again. When you really, in case you really have to import and export the model back again, you can only hope for this. Just a second. I try to hurry up. I think this was the right one now. As you can see now, this time the export worked, or the import. The model looks all right so far. So I think you get the idea how to fix things up in this case. And so I hope that the tutorial is a little bit useful to cover errors like these up. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope all of you have a nice weekend.